lad, uh, onze exporttalenten, je ziet ze ook in de selectie. Um, hoe zit het bij Robin Hood? Heb je ook van die talenten waar je zegt van deze, deze, moet, deze kan het maken? Je hebt bij, je hebt bij om even terug te komen mm-hmm. bij Rosello Vleitek, uh, Vleite, Cleopilio ja. Hasselbank nu, Vleite, die komen uit Robin Hood. En ik mag zeggen dat ik vanaf 2013 zij ook in mijn selectie waren tot de U17. Mm-hmm. En daar zag je hun groei. Dus ik ben toch wel heel erg blij dat twee jongens vanuit de jeugd, UV, uh, vanuit de nationale selectie U15, uitgest- dus toch wel gestroomd zijn naar de hoofdselectie. Rosello Vleiter en, en Cleofilio Hasselbaum Vleiter ook. Dus in Robin Hood zitten er talenten. Natuurlijk moeten we die talenten blijven ontwikkelen, maar je ziet het, we zitten in een periode waar we een jaar plus geen voetbal gespeeld nee, hebben, ja. dus wat gebeurt met een talent? Als je kijkt bijvoorbeeld naar, naar um, wil ik het even brengen naar de Jamaicaanse selectie, de, 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 de dames selectie. Nou, uh, ze hebben geprobeerd hun jo- jonge meisjes te krijgen in universiteiten, in, uh, nee, in scholarships. Amerika, scholarships, en daar hebben ze zich ontwikkeld en zijn ook op een, een WK gekomen. Um, Moeten we ook niet daarna gaan kijken als we als het exporteren naar clubs ook zo ja, moeizaam? Um, daarom, <laughs> ik had het over, eerder had ik het over talent en discipline gaan samen. Maar het is talent, discipline en school gaan samen. Mm-hmm. En dan kunnen we veel meer school, halen. Ja. Precies, kunnen we veel meer halen uit, als het ware, die, um, die, die sporters die hier rondlopen. Maar wat er vaak gebeurt, het tegenovergestelde. Talent is boven alles in Suriname. En dan is er geen discipline. En dan wordt school ook weggelaten. En dan wordt zo'n jongen. Hij krijgt de gelegenheid om jarenlang te spelen bij de club. Hij, um, hij doet mee in alle klassen. Mm-hmm. En niemand doet er wat aan. En op den duur, twintig, op zijn twintigste, wanneer hij naar de senioren, senioren moet gaan, mm-hmm. ja, is hij zo ongedisciplineerd. En Houdt hij niet meer van, van die sport als het ware. Ja, ja, en dan zie je ze niet meer. Doen, ja. Ik heb zo in, in mijn jeugdige jaren heb ik met zoveel talentvolle jongens gespeeld. Ik was geen talent. Mm-hmm. Maar ik heb, ik, heb, ik heb het nog ver geschopt. Je, je ik heb was nog, een werker. Ik was een werker. Ja, ja. Maar ik, ik was ook gedisciplineerd. Ja, ja. En ik heb ook nog kunnen uitkomen voor de verschillende selecties. Um, nou, voor de senioren selectie. Onder verschillende trainers. Mm-hmm. Dus... Ja, het is niet alleen talent, maar, maar dat, wordt, dat is het hoogste in het vandel in Suriname. Ja. En dan vergeet men die discipline en die schoolbegeleiding ook. Dus als je mm-hmm. dat combineert, dan denk ik wel dat je de sporters de gelegenheid kan bieden om in het buitenland te studeren. Want uh, Regilio, aan de andere kant kreeg ik de bond van Jamaica ook op zijn donder, omdat ze, het leek alsof alle aandacht ging naar de mannenselectie, de herenselectie. Die kregen alle fondsen, die kregen alle gelden. En Sadella Mali, dochter van Bob Mali, die adopteerde ja. toen het de dameselectie en heeft heel hard gewerkt en het succes ligt daar. Um, wij moeten dat voorkomen. Um. Dat, dat. <laughs> Ik denk van dat we niet naar één uh, aspect alleen kijken, de nationale selectie en de rest, niet alleen de dames, maar ook de jeugd, een uh, beetje verwaarloosd. Ik denk dat het iets van het Caribisch gebied is, mm-hmm. dat de dames een beetje verwaarloosd worden. Ik denk dat nu dat er een nieuw bestuur, tussen haakjes nieuw bestuur, is bij de SVB. En misschien hopelijk hun nieuwe beleidsplannen geschreven worden. Mm-hmm. Dat denk ik dat, hoop ik, niet denk ik, hoop dat ze dan dat van de dames, dat van de meisjes, vrouwen ook meenemen. En natuurlijk voorbeelden nemen van de wereld om te kijken hoe het kans van slagen heeft. Ik denk van dat we dat moeten doen. Nou goed, um, wij gaan dan afronden hier in uh, de studio. We gaan samen met u kijken naar de eerste helft uh, Suriname tegen Aruba. De wedstrijd waar wij allemaal naar hebben uitgekeken. Dean Goree die zei nog, uh, hij is uh, in feite blij dat hij eerst de Cayman Islands heeft en Aruba. Omdat uh, vanwege COVID geen enkele oefenwedstrijd afgewerkt kan worden. Uh, er was geen ruimte meer um, ja, uh, op de kalender van de FIFA. En hij moest dus uh, met die korte trainingssessies die hij had met de jongens voor de Cayman Islands aantreden. En nu twee wedstrijden uh, tegen de Cayman Islands eerst en nu Aruba. Dus uh, wij zullen dan zien wat uh, vanavond wordt neergezet. Uh, en samen met u kijken naar de eerste helft Suriname tegen Aruba. Tot zo.
to take the pitch and come up with a huge result for one of these teams here at the IMG Academy in Brainton, Florida. By the way, Suriname, they won 3 0 their opening match in Paramaribo. A 3 0 victory versus the Cayman Islands. The Dr. Franklin S. Stadion in Paramaribo. And this is a, a team in Suriname specifically that have had quite a history when it comes to their footballers. We'll get into that as this match progresses. But this is going to be quite an interesting matchup as Aruba, part of the ABC Island chain or Island Archipelago, if you want to use that expression. Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao. All three of those having ties to the Netherlands. Suriname as well. Led by Ryan Donk. Currently plying his trade with the Turkish Giants of Galatasaray. He is the captain for this encounter for Suriname. And Suriname taking their making their way onto the pitch. Let's listen to the national anthems of both these beautiful island, beautiful nations. <laughs> The national anthem of the island nation of Aruba and the national anthem of the nation of Suriname on the South American continent. On the left is the captain of Aruba, the goalkeeper, Eric Abdul. And on the right is the captain of Suriname, Ryan Donk, as I mentioned before, from Galatasaray, Ismail El Faz. El Faz is the referee. And a couple of ladies in the officiating crew for this matchup as the ladies continue to make history and showing how the game, the beautiful game of football is completely gender neutral. If you have the mind to play, you can be great. And the same thing for the officiating as well. So two ladies, American ladies, part of the officiating crew for this matchup between Aruba and Cerna. I'm showing that we are getting closer and closer. Still have a way to go, but we're still getting closer and closer to equality and assignments based on merit. These are two of the top officials, the ladies in the officiating crew, two of the top officials in all of the CONCACAF region. 
And so the 12th all-time meeting between these two nations with ties to the Netherlands about to begin. And if Suriname can complete, can duplicate the form that got them the three points against the Cayman Islands, we are going to have quite a showdown in Group B of this first round of CONCACAF World Cup qualifying for the 22 Quest to Qatar. Looking forward to seeing how these two teams come out and play, especially when you consider, as I mentioned before, the Dutch influence and that total football that the Netherlands brought to the world that raised the level of football. And both of these teams you expect are going to incorporate their philosophy into their football. So this is going to be quite an interesting matchup between these two teams in Group B. Of course, both of these teams looking up at Canada, Canada having no problems in smashing Bermuda 5-1 in their opening match of this 2022 World Cup qualifying campaign. So Ismail El Fath So I'm doing a little warm up there, a couple of knee raises just to get the blood flowing. And ladies and gentlemen, we are underway at the IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida. Suriname and those white kits with the green and red designs and the black numbers, they'll be attacking from right to left. Aruba and those smooth yellow and blue kits from left to right. Suriname from right to left. Aruba from left to right. I'm George DiMatellis. Thank you very much for joining us in this matchup the 2022 World Cup qualifier for CONCACAF, the Confederation of North Central American and Caribbean Football. And Suriname early with the possession through the middle. Ron Cherry. Shaquille Pinas. Pinas that scored one of the goals in that 3-0 victory. Nigel Hasselbank. So the 11 on the pitch, we'll start with Suriname. The team in white, green and red, the black numbers. Warner Hahn is in goal, a back line of Demil Dunker Louis, Mayenti Abena, Ryan Donk, and Shaquille Pinas. That is the back line from right to left. Midfield of Diego Bisesuar, Kelvin Leerdam, and Jerron Cherry. And then the attacking trio of Nigel Hasselbank, Cleofilo Fleiter, and Florian Joseph Zun. Those are the 11 on the pitch for the manager of Suriname, Dean Gore, known as Ignacio. Meanwhile, the 11 on the pitch, Eric Abdul is the captain. Javier Jimenez, Mark Jacobs, Nickinson Paul, and Jean Pierre Hayden. That back line, midfield of Kendrick Pulina, Walter Bennett. Here's the turn to shot, Abdul. Coming up with a big save to deny Nigel Hasselbank. Joshua Salazar, Francois Croix, Edward Clarissa, Walter Bennett, Javier Jimenez. Great effort here by Nigel Hasselbank and a great save by Eric Abdul. And Suriname with the first dangerous chance of the match, forcing the first save from the Aruba captain. Couple of headers in and eventually cleared out. Right footed shot, sent it to the area. Donk trying to make the turn. And Aruba managed to escape danger thanks to the captain, Eric Abdul. Here is Stanley Menzel.
longtime Ajax goalkeeper in his playing days. And a native of Aruba. Now a chance for Suriname bursting down the right side is Florian Josefsson. Leads to a corner. We saw the earlier opportunity by Nigel Hasselbank. If that last name sounds familiar, it's because he is the nephew of the former Chelsea striker, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. It's a family affair in the attacking portion for Suriname. We'll talk a little bit about that more as we see the ball flat in. Javier Jimenez coming up with a big intervention there. So Nigel Hasselbank, the nephew of Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, and his cousin is Leofilo Pleiter, who is in this starting lineup as well, up top. So headed out by Javier Jimenez. Dancing around, trying to maintain the possession. Diego Bisaswar, the PAOK player from representing the Greek First Division. Some headers, Salazar, and an Aruba bursting forward here, looking to connect. Loaded in in the first touch of the match for Warner Hahn, the goalkeeper for Suriname. Group B in this first round of World Cup qualifying consisting of Suriname, Aruba, Canada, Bermuda, and the Cayman Islands. Well, here's a great run through the middle by Dunker Louis. Service inside the header. Looked like Hasselbank was there. Nigel Hasselbank. Just can get clean contact onto it. And the Ruba defense is under serious threat here as Mark Jacobs throws it in. Sir, I'm looking the more dangerous side early on in this match. side with a good number of players in Europe. Hasselbank in Israel. Same with Leiter. Josef Zun, Rotherham United. Shaquille Pinas. Adio Den Haag. As you might expect, a strong Dutch connection. So, good number of players in either in the Eredivisie in the Netherlands or the Erste Divisie in the Netherlands, which is the second division, is an overlapping run by Donker Louis. He gets the ball back. Donker Louis with plenty of space inside, looking to turn the shot. Just trickles wide. Leofilo Vleiter, who scored in that win against the Cayman Islands, but this is well worked. Plenty of space. It's an excellent service by Donker Louis. Donker Louis. Missing out on that clean hit there was Leofilo Vleiter, as I mentioned before, who's the cousin of Nigel Hasselbank. Suriname right now in control of the possession. Aruba doing well to be aggressive and win the ball back. Long ball over the top, trying to connect Edward Clarissa. And Jimenez. It's looking like a 4 4 2 for Aruba. Meanwhile, Suriname, the more traditional Dutch formation of the 4 3 3. This one floated over the top. Looks like Bisa Swatter was making his run from a deeper line position, though that was Calvin Leerdam. Calvin Leerdam didn't have to make too far of a trip for this match. As he plies his trade with Inter Miami, although he did have to fly to Suriname for the 3-0 victory against the Cayman Islands. In fact, there are three changes 
for the Suriname side from that victory against the Cayman Islands with Diego Pisaswar in for Roland Alberg, Jaron Cherry in for Ramon Leuven. And Ivenzo Convadius drops the bench for Florian Josefzun. Out wide, Duncan Louis had a great opportunity to get an assist in this, in this match. Plenty of space here down the left side for Shaquille Pinas. Hasselbank, Nigel Hasselbank, Bank, Hasselbank getting into the area. Hasselbank square inside in the middle, looking for Josephson coming in late. Dr. Louis goes down. The ball was touched by the defender, and it is going to be a throw in for Suriname. Nigel Hasselbank looking dangerous down that right side. Benai Sahmin. Player down the left side. Beta Jerusalem is where his cousin plays. Smooth touches through the midfield. There are plenty of space for Pisa Swat. Out wide to Pinas. Pisa Swat filtering in uh, just a little too heavy for Jaron Cherry. But still, some very good football being played by Suriname. See what Aruba can do here to build the attack going forward. Long ball played in now, plenty of space. Visa Suar. Pass a little too heavy for Hasselbank. Leiter was there as well. Cleared away. They easily handled by Shaquille Pinas. I wonder where he gets his first name from. Hmm. So you see the back line, Abenti, Mayenti Abena, the donk, to Pinas. Hasselbank almost made the turn, but Mark Jacobs was there to make sure he did not make the turn. Jimmy Floyd's nephew. Settled in the midfield, now Aruba. How much pressure there? Kendrick, Kendrick. Kinderick Hulina. That's man, El Fat. Joshua! to make sure everything's okay. Is Nick and St. Paul looking on? On the right side, Joseph Zun. Good run there until he got to the top of the six and then held up. Eric Santos de Gouveia in the touch in the middle there. Through ball up top. Trying to link up with Edward Clarissa. To strike partnership up top between Clarissa and Javier Jimenez. Danke, Louis. Joseph Zun, uh, around one player. Checks his footwork. The header just over the crossbar there by Vleiter. But still well done down that right side by Florian Josefzun to link up with Vleiter. When the 2019-2020 CONCACAF Nations League was the top scorer amongst all the leagues. Ten goals in six matches in League B, helping Suriname get promoted to League A. 21 years old. He's a young striker with a bright future. Especially if he can continue to score goals at that rate for Suriname. So 
Ryan Dunk, the captain, the Galatasaray men, who themselves are in quite a fight for the Turkish Super League title this season with the two Istanbul rivals challenging them in Besiktas and Fenerbahce. Taking some time out from Turkish football to help Suriname get closer to a World Cup. Suriname and Aruba, neither one of these nations have qualified for a World Cup. Hasselbank in the space for Bissessoir. Squared inside. Last second defending, preventing a shot on target. It will get a corner kick in favor of Suriname. Well, have been in firm control of this match. Aruba, they haven't been able to get out of their own half so far in these first 15 minutes. We are in the 15th minute. So Diego Bissessoir. Right footed in swinger near post. Hasselbank, the intended target, kept out by Kendrick Kulina. Service far post, headed by Mark Jacobs. And another corner kick this time from the other side is Mayenti Abena getting involved and Mark Jacobs has been very busy. Some man marking in the area here. Let's see if he can take advantage of this. Another defensive header. Well done by the Aruba defense to fight off these set pieces as Javier Jimenez, the one that keeps that one out. Sissoir to the top of the six of Leiter. They're going to say it's, I thought it was off of Leiter. No. Ismail El Faf. Official says, no, we're going to have a another corner kick here. Ron Cherry, quick and short. And all the way back. Sissoir head up looking. Sees the run of Cherry down that far post. This one is going to go over the line, but of course the goal will not count. Offside. Preventing the first goal of the match. An obvious offside. A piece of Swart trying to link up with Josef Zun in the... On that play. On that movement, if you will. Eric Santos de Gouveia. Ball is won by Abena. And now Bisa Swat in the middle. Well done the track back was Santos de Gouveia. Played in the space and Suriname once again on the attack going forward with the, the possession. As I mentioned before, 12th meeting in all competitions in the senior level for these two nations. Suriname has only lost once. As Bisa with the shot, deflected. Picked up by Nickinson Paul. And down that right side, Mark Jacobs doing very well. And he's right back position. Now a chance for a Ruben to build attack going forward. Abdul blasts it up, looking to connect with Javier Jimenez. Jacobs and one well by Shaquille Pinas and now Hasselbank. 
Referee says play on off the foul, and now on that right side. Knows it's soon to dunk Louis. And the first touch loses the ball, and now a chance for Aruba to go on the counter. As the pass intended for Edward Clarissa, too heavy. Sir, now I'm able to recover. Oh, great move down that right side, Josephson. Now the burst of pace. Squaring inside, no one at the top of the six. Or actually, I should say, Hasselbank and Leiter were too deep in the top of the six, and no one in the heart of the area. Donk. The cherry. Smooth little touch there. Well worked through the midfield between Deerdam and Bisa Swat. And then the goal by Nigel Hasselbank. His first goal of World Cup qualifying. And it comes in the 20th minute. And Bisa Swad, and this all starts with the fantastic connection in tight quarters there between Bisa Swad, Leerdam, and Hasselbank. Look at this pass there by Bisa Swad. And then to Leerdam, and Hasselbank finishes like his uncle used to. Jimmy Floyd is very happy with his nephew. It is 1-0 for Suriname. Nigel Hasselbank in the 20th minute, giving the Nazio the 1 0 advantage. Let's see how Aruba will respond here. They have been pinned back for the majority of this first half. A little bit of a high press there, deployed by Cerna, forcing Aruba to go backwards. All over the top. A goal score in the space for Cherry, who's got plenty of space to operate. Head up looking inside. A couple of players diving for it, and then eventually Bisa Suar sends it over the crossbar. Both Hasselbank and Vleiter elevating and trying to connect with the ball to put it over the line. It did not quite work, but still well done down that left side, especially by Cherry. Now the service is a Hasselbank! Looking for a brace, but right to, into the hands of Eric Abdul, who looks to play quickly on the counter. The touch by Javier Jimenez is too heavy and easily recovered by Ryan Donk. Trying to pinch on Cherry down. Excuse me, down that far side. Dr. Louis, here's Cherry hooking up with Hasselbank. And Cherry. Just for Pisa Swan. Ryan Dark. All 10 outfield players for Suriname in their attacking half. Shaquille Pinas inside. Connected. Falls. The shot is deflected. By Vleiter. Vleiter! Goes far post. It almost scores a second goal for Suriname. The initial effort by Vleiter. It's kept out by Francois Croix. And falls to Vleiter again. And he almost made it 2-0 for Suriname. So Bisa Suar with the service. Deflect shot. Ryan Donk is there. 
and Eric Abdul comes up with a big save to prevent a second goal. Ryan Donk scoring from the spot in the victory in Paramaribo against the Cayman Islands. Pieces want plenty of space. Squaring, looking for Donk in the middle. And they regain the possession. By the way, may I just say, Aruba and Suriname, two places I would love to visit before I die. This is a great through ball by Hesselbank. The flight there! And he misses just wide. This was the chance that was kept out by Abdul up there. Pinas, the dunk. Look at that one touch, swerve of the hips. The Galatasaray man almost made it 2 0. I think Ryan Dunk meets the ball in the air. He scores many more goals, or it appears to be more comfortable scoring goals when the ball is in the air. He can use his head more than his, his feet. Big clash in the middle there. And it looks like Javier Jimenez is down. The 21 year old got crunched in between a couple of players with Mayenti Abena coming in strong from the back. It's then the Menso. He felt hard. He was crunched in there between Cherry and Abena. Stanley Minso, the manager of Aruba. The goalkeeper, longtime goalkeeper for Ajax. And Oranya International during his playing day is Dean Gore. He knows he has a, a talented team with a rich history. Maybe not in terms of World Cups, when you consider all the Dutch players that have either been born in Suriname or have a connection to Suriname, the diaspora, if you will. Look at those the players that have that connection with Suriname. I mean, they could have qualified for the World Cup three times over. And you can make the argument, because of those players, they would be the best team in CONCACAF. Good to see Javier Jimenez of Milwaukee. He's, he's favoring his lower back. Certainly hope that it's something minor that he will recover very quickly. Francois Croix trying to send it in, trying to link up with Edward Clarissa. There's Hasselbank. Run was being made by Penis. Instead, it's to Bissessoir. Bissessoir filtering it through for Vleiter and Vleiter. This is effort kept out. Elfilo Vleiter. And they understand. I think you can hear the, the bench of Aruba saying, watch out for Ryan Donk. They know how lethal he can be with his head on these set pieces. He actually gets contact here, but he's Oh, I thought at first it was a foul, but no, it's going to be a goal for Suriname, and it's Ryan Donk off of his chest. It wasn't a big goal celebration, and the way Francois Croix was gesturing, 
thought it was a foul in his favor. I think even Ryan Donk thought it was a foul, but Well, by all indications, yep, they gave the goal to Ryan Donk. Actually, looks more like an own goal off of Francois Price. So, it is 2-0 in favor of Suriname. Right before the half-hour mark. see what happens in terms of the official score but it looks to me off the head of Francois Kreuz and Ryan Dunk didn't even know what was going on so Suriname in full control of this matchup we'll run down the 11 on the pitch for Aruba really quick here because I think I finally figured it out this one sent in there's the defensive header by Francois Kreuz the 30th minute so the goalkeeper Eric Abdul three four in the back with Jacobs Paul Kreuz and Kendrick Pulina midfield of Joshua Salazar Bennett Eric Santos de Govia and here's an opportunity for Javier Jimenez who's just back in the game after a hard fall favoring his lower back now he's favoring his left leg He is brought down by Ryan Donk. You have Jean Pierre Hayden, and then up top, Clarissa and Javier Jimenez, and what looks like a simple 4 4 2 for Aruba. Javier Jimenez, 21 year old, he's had a rough last five or six minutes for Stanley Menzel's side. As I mentioned, longtime IX goalkeeper in six caps for the Oranya. The Netherlands. Play the ball. Play the ball. And now a chance here for Aruba to look threatening after the foul. Floating in out wide, looking for Francois Royce. Marshall Salazar is battling for it, but eventually laid away by the Suriname defense. Touch there by Pumina. And Francois Kreuz, unfortunately credited with the own goal off of his head. This is for crashing into Nickinson Paul. This one floated in just outside, about five meters outside the penalty area. Well done by the winner. Now playing it out wide to Jacobs, Mark Jacobs. Joshua Salazar, twisting, turning, faced up by Diego Bisiswad. Finally tried to make a turn on Bisiswad. Kept out. Well done by John Cherry, spinning and turning, forcing the foul. Why trying to get to Florian Josef Zun? Choice to Nickinson Paul. Plenty of space for the center back for Aruba. Tried to play it long, but could not link up with Walter Bennett making the run in the middle. And now a chance out wide. Hasselbank. They've been very dangerous down the left side. 
Vinas is overlapping. It's Hasselbank who scored the first goal. Hasselbank in the top of the penalty area. Lays it off for Darker Louis. How wide to Josef Zun. Josef Zun inside. Defensive header by Walter Bennett. And a chance for Aruba to build their attack going forward. So we are 34 minutes in here at the IMG Academy. It is one, or excuse me, two nil in favor of Suriname, the team in white, green, and red. Nigel Hasselbank in the 20, 20th minute and then in the 29th minute, the own goal by Francois Preuss. Through ball for Hasselbank to Vleiter. What a save by Abdul! A magnificent save by Eric Abdul to deny Leofilo Vleiter at the doorstep. One-on-one -on -one is Javier Jimenez going one-on-three, on three, I should say. And once again, Suriname on the attack. That's saved by Eric, Ab Eric Abdul. I almost said Eric Abidal. Eric Abdul, the goalkeeper. Magnificent denying flight to right at the doorstep. Inside by near down out wide to Hassel Bank using the outside of the right foot. Little three Villa action for the trying to get the assist. Visa Suarez, lots of touches, influential in his first half. It's in a wide to Visa Suarez. Can't miss it with that great afro that he has there. Now in the middle, that was Venus trying to link up with Leiter. You can see a roof, they want to play quickly up the pitch. They just trying to see if they can catch Suriname on the counter. The passes just have been in or have been or have been inaccurate. This was the chance here. What a great save. Abdul comes off of his line quickly. It's a nice fight there. What would have been the third goal for Suriname? Patient build up here by Suriname. Shaquille Venus drops it back into the middle for near down. It's a two goal lead. Not much of a rush here. Going to be a little more patient in the build up, Suriname. Right side, use of soon, use of soon. Griff Leiter, the black heel flick, the shot, Hasselbank, it falls for Nigel Hasselbank, and he has a brace. 3 0 for Suriname here at the IMG Academy in Bradenton. Yozef Soon, this ball filters through. There's a touch there through the middle. Oh, it's a mistake in the back by Walter Bennett. He got a touch onto it, but a little bit out of position, and it falls for Hasselbank. He has a second goal, and it comes in the 37th minute. It is 3-0 for Suriname. Dean Gorre has to be satisfied with his team's performance here. At the IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida. And a 
a little bit of pressure by Aruba Hope, and then they lose the ball in the midfield. Here's Lear down. Excuse me, that was Shaquille Pinas that won the ball. Now out wide for Josef Zun. Faced up by Hayden. Inside the turn. The shot goes wide. Deron Cherry getting into the action. And Nigel Hasselbank almost getting a hat trick. It looks like they whistled a foul, or he wants a penalty. A little bit of some yoga stretching here. Looks like he menaced for Aruba. Been beaten up a little bit here in this first half. Javier Jimenez. Dominant performance by Suriname here in the first half. 3-0 advantage. Nickinson Paul coming over down the patrol down the left side. Shaquille Pina's feeling something. Suriname left back. That's for Azur Denham. He's Piece of Swat. Now a set piece opportunity for the Natio. See what the Pauk Salonica man can do here with the service. And Eric Abdul does well to win the foul and get the possession back for Aruba. We all know that any contact in the six yard box on the goalkeeper is going to go in his favor, and that's exactly what the case was. Although Eric Abdul puts his leg up there, digs a little bit into then aside. Here's an opportunity to service sent him. Diving header cleared out by Nickinson Paul. So Suriname looking to pour it on here with another goal. A 3-0. Mentioned the history of Suriname and the players that either were born here or well, let's see what happens here. This is a great ball in by Bissesuar trying to link up with Cherry. Teron Cherry then settles for Ben after who's cleared away. Kilpinas. On Cherry. Poor pass given away to Clarissa and then back to Cherry. And now here's Jerron Cherry in the area, squaring inside, looking for Flyter. Joseph Soon was making a late run far post. And unfortunately for Suriname, Flyter just maybe timed his run a little too soon to pass behind him. Suriname have regained the possession. Under five minutes remaining here in the first half of this 2022 Quest to, Con Quest to Qatar World Cup qualifier in CONCACAF. 3-0 for Suriname, the team in white, green, and red with the black numbers as Nigel Hasselbank has two goals, the number nine. And the goal sandwiched in between the Hasselbank goals was an own goal by the central defender for Aruba, Francois Croix. Another chance for Suriname to pour it on here. Because it's looking like this group B, Suriname and Canada, are the two 
top teams. They will actually play each other in the final group stage match. A round one match, I should say. And like normal, or I should say group stages we are accustomed to where there's a home and away. So a group, a group stage of five teams, each team would play eight normally, but because of time restrictions and obviously the COVID-19 pandemic, each team is just going to play one game or four matches instead of the home and away scenario. And with Dr. Louis not happy with the foul called against him. Elevates for the header and then that right arm into the chest. Pumina. Donk settles it. Lisa Swell with the turn. It is moving is kept out by Eric Santos de Gouveia. Looking for Javier Jimenez at the top. Settled by Edward Clarissa. Jimenez marked very well by Ryan Donk, the captain. Now, Mayenti Abena. To Ryan Donk. Captain bursting forward to Nigel Hasselbank. Been finishing excellently in this match when he's had his chances. Two goals already. Dr. Louis. Josef Zun. Josef Zun closed down by Jean Pierre Hayden and Kendrick Pulina. Surname Surinam retained the possession. Dr. Louis with the throw in. Well, Joseph Zun was going one way. Vlaiter was going the opposite direction. Joseph Zun was looking to burst forward and get into a further advanced position, but it didn't work out that way. But with the way Suriname have played in these first 45 minutes, that little misconnection is a minor, very minor thing. Some strong defending there down the left side. Coming over to help was Kendrick Pulina. Attack getting bogged down a little bit down that right side for Suriname. They have looked the more dangerous down the left side. And so, ladies and gentlemen, after the first 45 minutes at the IMG Academy, it is Suriname up 3-0 over Aruba, a brace by Nigel Hasselbank. And an own goal between by Francois Croix and the Nazio up 3-0 in this encounter. What adjustments will Stanley Menzo make in the second half to get Aruba back into this encounter? With Suriname, the squad that plays in CONCACAF, but is located on the South American continent are in an advantageous position and looking very strong to pick up the three points and keep up with Canada at the top of Group B. So far, so good for Suriname under Dean Gore. So they're up 3-0 at this point in this 12th ever meeting between these two nations with ties to the Netherlands.
X is het enige chromosoom dat ieder mens heeft. X is ook het teken waarmee we vermenigvuldigen. X, de factor die niemand precies kan omschrijven. X is de oudste handtekening van de mens. En ja, het is ook een ode aan de X van Melkom. Omroep X geeft Nederland dat extra setje waarmee we samen kampioen worden. X komt het gelijk niet halen, maar brengen wanneer we zeggen dat diversiteit een verrijking is voor Nederland. Omroep X vermenigvuldig door te delen. Omroep X, jezelf zien, is gezien worden. Word nu lid van Omroep X.
watching some video and some of his older family members said, hey, you know your uncle, this is how he used to play, this is how he used to finish. His uncle being Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank, long time. Great Chelsea striker who applied his trade. Let's chop top flight with Eads and Hillsborough, and the former Netherlands international. In the second half, I'll break down a little bit about the Suriname and their history and the fact that when you look at some of the players that have either been born in Suriname or were eligible to play for Suriname through the parents or what have you. And this is a squad that could have qualified for at least two or three World Cups. Looks like the referee Ismail El Fath made a gesture for substitution, and it's going to be Shamar Montecure, number 22. Let's see who he is coming on for here. Looks like Carissa, but we'll get confirmation here. Shamar Montecure has come on for Aruba. We are underway here at the IMG Academy in Bradenton. Suriname, they are in the white kits with the red and green design pattern, if you will. This time attacking from left to right. Meanwhile, Aruba, got to say those are some pretty smooth yellow and blue kits with the blue numbers from right to left. So Suriname from left to right, Aruba from right to left here at the IMG Academy in Bradenton. The man with the cards and the whistles is Ismail El Fath. Presenting the United States. And on the right side, throwing in Yosef Zoom. Yosef Zoom cutting inside. Is it off for Ron Cherry? Service up top looking for Diego Bicesuar. Settled through the midfield by Clarissa. So we'll run down the 22 men on the pitch here in just a second and see what Surinam can do with this attack as Hasselbank's effort over the head of everyone. Surinam playing a 4 3 3 with Warner Hahn in goal from right to left in the back line. It's Damil Donker Louis, Mayenti Abena, Ryan Donk, the Galatasaray man, is the captain. And Shaquille Pinas is the left back. This one through for Bissessoir, who makes a turn. Bissessoir with the shot. The number 21 with the cool afro. Kelvin Leerdam, number 18. Sharon Cherry, number 10. Nigel Hasselbank, the number nine, with two goals and a brace so far in this matchup. Leofilo Vleiter, number 20. And Florian Josef zoomed down the right side. Those are the 11 on the pitch for Dean Gorre, the manager. The head man in charge. A Surinam's Votbal Bond. Excuse me, my, my touch sounds terrible. Aruba, they've made a substitution for Shamar Montague coming on. It looks like he's come on for Kendrick Paulina. We will get confirmation of that. Another chance. Joseph soon in the middle looking for Bisa Swad. Leiter is there as well. Long ball over the top. Trying to connect with Javier Jimenez. Kind of roughs up a little bit in the first half, but it's good to see him okay. Oh no, that was Edward Clarissa. It looks like it's Jump here Hayden that has come off the number five. Get confirmation of that here. Now in the middle, Cherry, back here from Flighter. Now Aruba looking to build the attack going forward. The touch by 
Way back for Walter Bennett, but Pieces who are tracking back to recover. Inside, Hasselbank goes down in the area. We're going to get a penalty in favor of Suriname. Nigel Hasselbank brought down in the area. He was in behind the defense. Yep, no doubt about it. Nickinson Paul bringing him down. It's a spot shot opportunity for Suriname. Will they let Hasselbank take it so he can get a hat trick? Yellow card is given. Looks like Nickinson Paul. Nickinson Paul is the one who picked up the yellow. Yep, it was. I'm sure for protesting. Clumsy challenge by the central defender for Aruba. We'll run down the 11 on the pitch here for Aruba in just a second. As Nigel Hasselbank will go for a third goal here. Get his hat trick and make it 4-0 for Suriname. It's Nigel Paul against the captain, Eric Abdul. Hasselbank off the crossbar, misses the penalty. He had the goalkeeper going the, the wrong way. Tried to tuck it in underneath the crossbar instead it hits the crossbar. And Hasselbank missing his chance for a hat trick in the 49th minute. Now a set piece opportunity for Suriname. John Cherry loses the ball. Offside is the call. Now, through the move to the rear down. So, Sarah now building the attack going forward. Oh, chance cleared off the line, and then Hasselbank sails it over the crossbar. Punched out weakly by Abdul, and then flying in to try to keep it out. Sailed over by Hasselbank. So the substitutions made for Suriname back on the possession here. Middle bursting forward. Here it down. Lisa Swar for Hasselbank. He flag stay down. Hasselbank off the crossbar again. That's the second opportunity for a hat trick that has gone off the crossbar for Nigel Hasselbank. Yes, yes, yes. 
So Jean Pierre, Jean Pierre Hayden sending in the service and it's kept out. Suriname still have with the clean sheet. A group of getting dangerous. Speaking of dangerous, Bisa Suarez inside goal. Hasselbank finally gets his hat trick to make it 4 0 for Suriname. And it's Bisaswar down that left side with plenty of space. Eric Abdul looking at his defenders going, what is wrong with you guys? And Hasselbank off the crossbar from the spot, then missed the shot off the crossbar five minutes earlier. And he slides in for maybe the easiest goal he has scored today. Diego Bisaswar with the assist. 4-0 for Suriname as they continue to dominate here at the IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida. Now at this point for Aruba, it's just a matter of the goal of honor here. As Bisaswar once again down the left side. And plays it up top for Jerron Cherry. Back for Kelvin Leardown. Swart dancing out wide, Venus inside as Hasselbank with Leofilo Leiter coming off has moved into that center forward position. Now a foot race down that right side. Mark Jacobs able to control it. Now floated into the top, looking to link up with Edward Clarissa, but no concerns there as Abena handles it easily by Walter Hahn, who has been, well, he has not been busy, we'll put it that way. Goalkeeper for Suriname has not had much to do. There's a service sent inside Paul as well to keep it out before he could get to Hasselbank for possibly a fourth goal. Well, with the three goals that Hasselbank has, he is now tied with Kyle Lauren or level with Kyle Lauren as the top goal scorer so far in CONCACAF World Cup qualifying. Lauren with three goals. The Beshi Dash man. Slide it in and kicked out by Eric Santos de Gouveia. And there's the shot. And you can hear by the reaction of the players on the bench that they were not expecting that effort.
So Eric Abdul, he made a couple of big saves in the first half. Not so fortunate here in the second half. When you, when you look at Suriname, you think of the, the players, that, as I mentioned before, that have been born in Suriname or have a parent or two that were born in Suriname and, and the players that were eligible to play for Suriname but did not do so because of governmental restrictions not allowing certain players to play for Suriname. And discouraging dual citizenship. So if you're not a full Suriname at the time, until late 2000s, you were not a full citizen of Suriname. You could not play for the national team. So that barred players like Mario Melchiot, Winston Bogard, Rudy Hulit, Ryan Babel, Frank Reichard, Edgar Davids, Clarence Seydorf, Patrick Cliver, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. That prevented them from playing for Suriname. This one is chased down by Javier Jimenez. This is faced by Abena. Some strong defending there by the center back for Suriname. So because of some governmental regulations and in inhibiting the citizenship of those not full Suriname citizens, no dual citizenship. Here's a turn and a shot. Finally, dangerous opportunity there by Shamar Montague. But just to finish the point, the nation discouraging dual citizenship. So that barred a lot of magnificent players from playing for Suriname, whether they were born there or Dutch players of Surinamese descent. I mentioned the names. Imagine if Clivert, Hasselbank, Seydorf, Davids, Rijkaard, Ryan Babel, Melchior, Roy Hulit, Michel Baum decided to play for Suriname throughout the course of their careers instead of the Netherlands. My goodness. I mean, that squad right there, our squad with four or five of those players would easily qualify for Suriname out of CONCACAF. I think finally the government smartened up and in the early 2000s said if you are a you can have dual citizenship anywhere else if you have Surinamese roots you can play for Suriname so let's see if that increases the talent pool of Suriname I mean just think of that squad David Seydorf Hasselbank Cliver so many great players that were eligible to, play, eligible to play for Suriname, but because they had dual citizenship with the Netherlands or another country, they could not play for Suriname. They missed out on some world legends in football. Could have gotten them to their first World Cup a long time ago. Missed there by Ismail and Fath. Over here in the midfield, and chance going forward for Aruba, who who looked better in the second half in terms of their possession, as they're still looking to play the long ball into space to link up with a Montague or Clarissa, or specifically Montague and Jimenez up top. Ball up played wide to the left. In the middle with plenty of space to turn is Hasselbank. Squared in. Hasselbank elevating for the header. Cleared out eventually by Santos de Gouveia. Some aggressive shot. Oh, just wide. After the ball was won in the midfield by Shaquille Pinas. Scored in their first 
match. Almost the fifth goal for Suriname. It's been a substitution as well. Mikael Darson has come on for Suriname. For Vleiter, this is why we're seeing Hasselbank in that center forward position. And that's also given Visa Swar more room to operate down that left side. Mikael Darson. Plays professionally with Inter Moeng Gotapo in the Suriname First Division, the top classer. Eric Abdul getting some treatment here, the captain. Stanley Menso and some words with Kendrick Pulina. So Pulina, who started the first half and started this match at the left back position, is moved into the middle of the defense with Kreuz and Paul Jumpier Hayden at that left back position. Now he's dropped back deeper to fill that space. And with Clarissa getting some instruction from from the Ajax manager. Excuse me, the Ajax goalkeeper, I should say. Well, coming up next for these two teams in early part of June, Aruba will be taking on Bermuda. And Suriname. Be taking on the Cayman, excuse me, the Suriname will be taking on Bermuda in early June. On the 30th of March, Aruba will be taking on Bermuda. And I'm looking forward to that showdown on the 8th, the last group stage match. Hopefully, Suriname and Canada will be level on points neck and neck in that game to close the Group B encounters the Group B fixtures in this first round of CONCACAF World Cup qualifying. Three goals so far by Nigel Hasselbank, an own goal by Francois Kreuz, and Suriname have the 4 0 advantage. They have yet to concede a goal so far in qualifying after a 3 0 victory in their first stage match, first match of the round against the Cayman Islands. The Franklin S. Stadion in the capital city of Paramari, Paramaribo. So in the middle for Montecchio. And Shamar is brought down. Set piece opportunity here for Aruba. He's looking for a goal of honor here. For they take on Bermuda in about three days' time here at the IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida. By the way, the other nation in World Cup qualifying that has that strong Dutch connection is Curaçao. They beat St. Vincent and the Grenadines 5-0. So the Dutch influence of football has worked out very well so far. Not for Aruba, but for Suriname and Curaçao. Sure has. Now a chance here. Something's big Ovea serving it into the area. I think he was actually trying to go for goal there. But miss hit it. All played over the top. It's behind Josef Zun. Trying to send it into the area. Takes a deflection. Suriname with another chance to advance or get another goal. It's very important that they finish their opportunities. You 
individual goal differential is a big tiebreaker. Being cleared out by the Aruba defense. Ron Cherry. Left footed service. It's going to fall. The turn the shot, and it goes in. And Florian Josefsson picks up his goal to make it 5 0 for Suriname in the 70th minute. Well, give credit to Mayenti Abena for winning the header. And then it falls for Josef Zun. And Abdul unable to keep it out. 5 0 at this point. Couple more substitutions coming in for Suriname. With Abena coming off. I think it's safe to say that Dean Borre, the manager of Suriname, is happy with his squad's performance. And Bena comes off. He's replaced in the back. With Dimitri Apai coming in for Diego Pisaswar. See Ramon Leuven, the number three, coming in for Mayenti Abena. So Suriname for full control of this match. Oh, they're down. Bursting forward down that right side. Pass short and behind him. Dimitri Apai coming in. So my auntie Abena come off as even even the AZ defender comes on. Ramon Louisville. So we see that uh, coming near down. Owning over to the left, Josef Zun. A couple of step over moves. Josef Zun just scoring the fifth goal of the match for Suriname. He's really been getting a touch to uh, the captain, Ryan Dunk. Driving at the defense turn, the shot deflected, kept out by Francois Cloyce. Looked like Shaq Pinas coming in from his left back position to challenge the run at that. Aruba defense, Florian Yosefsson. Yosefsson tried a smooth little step over move to get past Jean Pierre Hayden. Florian Yosefsson, rather a United player. Started his career with IX. As Edward Clarissa coming off. And he's being replaced by Eth or excuse me, by Daniel Linshear. There's a turn to shot. Oh! A spectacular golazo from long range. And it's Mikel Darson that puts it over the line into the back of the net for Suriname's sixth goal. 
A rocket shot. Great technique to keep the shot down. Abdul got a touch onto it. But Mikhail Darson with the sixth for Suriname. And the best one of the game so far. Jean-Pierre Hayden coming off. And Erickson Kreuz coming on. Kel Darson. The great hit for Suriname. And they are on the attack again. Inside, squaring inside for Hasselbank. Off of the player that's just come on, Erickson Kreuz. And Aruba once again scrambling in defense. Suriname just calmly playing the ball back. They've had a ton of space down that left side where Mark Jacobs is patrolling. And another step over move. Dimitri Apai is brought down. He's clutching his left calf. Mark Jacobs accidentally steps on him. So it appears that Dimitri Apai is okay, but they're working on Mark Jacobs, the right back for Aruba. Awkwardly, his right shoulder appears to be that they're working on. Yep, the right shoulder. Stanley Menso, the manager of Aruba. Safe to say this is not how he wanted World Cup qualifying to begin for one of the ABC Islands. And Mark Jacobs is going to pick up the yellow card. Only two players have been booked so far. And both of them have been from Aruba. Mark Jacobs in the 78th and Nickinson Paul in the 50th. Center back. So Suriname with a chance here. Florian Josephson. Right footed. Invading to keep the header out was Menace. Quickly by Jaron Cherry to Hasselbank, who has a hat trick. Although he had to get a hat trick on his third try. After well, his third try after the first two goals, I should say. Hasselbank missing a penalty in the 49th minute, then two minutes later having a chance on goal that would go off the crossbar. And finally getting the assist from Diego Visa Squad to get his hat trick. Wonder if Eric Abdul is talking to his players in Papiamento. I might have to learn that language. It sounds pretty cool. So Joseph Zun and Jaron Cherry standing over ball. Cherry left footed and it swings wide.
been a great goal if the swerve started it a little bit sooner. The player getting ready to come on for Suriname. It's like Jarrell Wilkes. Let's see who he comes on for. And Kai trying to make the turn. For Jacobs. We're gonna get our substitution here. It's Jarrell Wilkes, who did come on as a second half substitute in the match against the Cayman Islands. He's going to come on and replace the man who scored a hat trick in the 80th minute. Jarrell Wicks, the number 14, steps onto the pitch. So the only player in that attacking triumvirate up top that's still on the pitch is Gordon Yosefson. Can't complain about Nigel Hasselbank's performance in this match. Three goals, did miss a penalty, but hey, when you're up 3-0 when you miss the penalty, it's okay. And that was the case. Three goals for him. Strong performance between for him and for Suriname so far. We are less than 10 minutes away from the conclusion of this matchup in Group B. You welcome qualifying. Oh, great through ball out wide to Apai. Apai cutting in. Cherry with the turn. Cherry with the shot. It's kept out by Kreuz. Cherry again with the chance. And sails well wide of the goal defended by Eric Abdul. Suriname. Our first two matches here in World Cup qualifying have put on quite a show. 3 0 victory over the Cayman Islands, and now a 6 0 result so far for Aruba. The header, oh, headed off the line, Ryan Dunk. Got a head on to it, and it was sailing for the goal. The cleared off the line. And the seventh goal prevented by some excellent fundamental defending by Aruba. And now Ryan Donk, the captain. Got a Tastarai player. Feeling something. Are you sure that Galatasaray, they don't want to see that. He is crucial for the Lions. They are in a, not in a, well, I guess a lion fight, dog fight. fight. They are in that situation in the race for the Turkish Super League title. Training Beshikash and Fenerbahce right on the heels, so they need Ryan Donk help. He is a regular starter, an important player in that defense for the Turkish Giants of Galatasaray. So for now, Their gun is dropped back defensively. Right back position. Another player down. This is Javier Jimenez now for Aruba. The same player. 
It's the same player. You need to get him off. Get clubbed. Here, the official saying it's the same player. You need to get him off the cramp for the FC Brandenburg 0-3 player. Give him menace. Need him of Oranje Stark. All the way from Germany. So now Ismail and Fath, referee for this encounter, the man in black. Pushing forward. Here down, let's move over to that right back position with the Damiel Dunker who we subbed off. And then in sheer, putting some pressure on the defense of Suriname. Nigel Hasselbank with a hat trick. An own goal by Francois Kreuz. Tarson with a fantastic goal from eight yards out. And Florian Josef Zun in the right place at the right time. Off of a corner kick to make it six. Those are the players, those are the that accounts for the six goals in this match for Suriname. As down the middle, another play for Aruba going down. And 87th minute, one of the fatigue, uh, the cramps, another cramp. That's Walter Bennett. I saw Javier Jimenez picking up a cramp as well. Remember, this is the first competitive match for Aruba this season, or this calendar year, I should say. No matter how much training a player gets, does not equate. It just doesn't. you ready or can't simulate the game action practice so Walter Bennett is gonna limp off for a little bit get some treatment I'm sure he'll come back in the game shortly Even. Ryan Dunk. Ryan Dunk is even slowly limping onto the pitch to number 15. That back line of Theerdam, Louisville Dunk, and Pinas. Theerdam to Joseph Zou. Ryan Dunk with the poor force, the first touch in the middle. Now a chance for Aruba to go through. This is a great through ball. Trying to link up with Montague. Minshir with the pass. Tracking back defensively was Ramon Duyven. And, and now a chance. A pie on the left side. Vinas overlapping. Pulls it up. Nicaragua have already won a match 7-0. In their World Cup qualifying campaign. So far, the, the biggest march in a victory. Suriname will look to equal that. All floated in. Far post! Josephson elevating. Just missed out on connecting on the header. Throwing in Josephson. Two more substitutions coming on for Aruba. As Walter Bennett is going to come off. On the right is Ethan Trump. And the number 20 is Jameer Howell. 
both coming on in the 90th minute. Jimenez and Bennett coming off. Fresh legs here for Stanley Menso. No chance here. It's Aruba. One to Q. One against three. And the three win. Now, first on the left side. How about that pace? Not high, but well done defensively by Mark Jacobs getting some help from the fresh legs of Jameer Howell to come over and help out. Now, Pai, he turned on some serious speed. We have three minutes of stoppage time here at the IMG Academy in Bradenton, Florida. And Suriname in full control of this match, basically from the beginning. They really have not been tested. Warner Hahn, the goalkeeper for Suriname, the only time I've mentioned his name is to say that he has not been tested throughout this match. Thorough, comprehensive performance by Suriname. have now scored nine goals and have not conceded a goal in World Cup qualifying in this start to World Cup qualifying. Foul committed. Erickson Kreuss to the player, Gustafson, so let's see if Suriname can get a seventh here right before the end, right before the final whistle. High scoring group so far. Canada beating Bermuda 5-1, Suriname 3-0 over Cayman Islands. Let's see what Canada can do against the Cayman Islands here at the IMG Academy in Bradenton. Well done, defensive header cleared out. Eventually falls to Eric Santos de Govea and cleared the pitch, but Kevin Leardam was moved over to that right back position with the substitution of Demille Duncan. Josephson still with it inside. Josephson trying to cut back. Ran into brick wall of the number six, Santos de Govea. Another set piece opportunity here. Josephson. This might be the last kick of the match. Swerving effort. The header. And then the chance at the far post. By Shaquille Pinas. And ladies and gentlemen, that will do it from the IMG Academy, a dominant performance from start to finish, from the opening whistle to the final whistle for Suriname. They pick up the victory, 6-0 is the final. They move provisionally to the top of Group B in this first round of World Cup qualifying for CONCACAF 2022, the quest for Qatar. Three goals by Nigel Hasselbank. Mikhail Darson and Florian Josephson with goals as well. And then Francois Kreuz with an own goal in the 29th minute. That is how this match would play out. Disappointing for Eric Abdul, who made some great saves in the first half. Kendrick, Kendrick Polina and the rest of his squad, Daniel Lynch here, disappointed with the results. 6-0 in favor 
of Suriname, who have dominated this matchup historically. They are now. Nieuw gebouw voor onder directoraat Vriendelingenzaken. Rechtszaak was slechts een middel om het doel te bereiken, zegt Ricky Stuttgart. Gewapende bende in Haiti overvalt voetbalteam Belize. Goedenavond, het journaal op donderdag 25 maart. Vicepresident Ronnie Brunswijk heeft vandaag de opening verricht van het nieuw gebouw van de Vreemdelingendienst. De ingebruikname van het gebouw, dat bestemd is als werkplek voor werknemers van het onderdirectoraat Vreemdelingenzaken, is volgens de VP onderdeel van de institutionele versterking van het overheidsapparaat. Kijk naar uh, de situatie toen, uh, daarbij uh, het tweelinggebouw van uh, justitie zelf, dan vind ik hier uh, een prachtige... Uh, plaats, mooi gebouw, uh, netjes ingericht. Ja, ik denk dat uh, dit is uh, een basis. En als we later moeten uitbreiden, dan uh, zien we dat wel maar uh, een goed werk begint bij je werkplaats. Als je werkplaats uh, uh, acceptabel is. En dan uh, zie je uh, dat je een representatieve plaats hebt. Dat wanneer mensen komen, dat uh, ze zien dat ze het niet. Uh, zoveel mensen in een hok kan blijven, maar dat uh, je rustig kan praten met mensen. Dus dit is een, uh, uh, goed, een goed gevoel. De Vreemdelingendienst heeft de afgelopen jaren diverse momenten doorstaan. Het beleid van 